What's going on everyone? So I haven't done one of these and it's been like I think nearly two months it's, it's been a while So I miss you For those who are wanting to be intimate in the brain of what's going on with Luan at the moment. So um, We've had so many new people join our community. It's been absolutely like just flat-out insane uh, the free music school is popping um, we're about to go all in on the coaching program, which is really, really sweet. I'm done with the testing, but yeah, basically I'm just checking in. So everyone gets a, a feel for where I've, where I've been at. So pretty much in January, I decided to give this content creator journey a, a good crack. I was like, Hey, let's go. I want to write a hit song that hasn't changed. Um, I'm about to start getting back into my songwriting again, which is good. We're getting more time. Um, and and it's kind of cool to reflect because I was looking back at my expectations of what was going on in January. And at this point, I'm just like, what the fuck? This is crazy. We're already partnered with YouTube. We've got affiliate with Kick. Um, Twitch is now growing um, when it was like dead before. Um, our TikTok is continuing like, like, people coming in and out like it's been still fantastic uh um especially the way i've changed my streams and just i'm so grateful for everyone who's been part of our community and like jumping in wanting to learn wanting to communicate with each other sharing stuff it's just insane i if you look at luan in january and you can see me talking like i don't really know how this is gonna go i don't know if i can do gigs and blah blah, blah. like Pretty much what happened, I'm just like doing a little bit of a reflection over the past four months, but uh, wait, <laughs> we're in June, far out. It's been near, it's six months. We've been doing this for six months, um, trying not to miss a stream. I've only missed streams because of real life shit, but basically we went through a cyclone. We went through learning a bunch of new stuff. I have been grinding super, super hard. There was a point where I was doing like five live streams and about like three or four shows a weekend sometimes like we doubled up on live streams um it's been it's been a lot so i'm very much excited uh that we're like at this point where we're at now um there's a bit of breathing room um and then i'm about to like have my second child and then it goes fucking crazy again but but that's a good crazy. I'm very, very much looking forward to that kind of crazy. But once we're in our system, like once I have my systems in place, I'm quite proud of the hard work that we've put in and the communities put in to help me out uh, to get to this point. But, you know, that part is going to be really, really fun. So I'm, I'm quite excited. Uh, August is going to be wild. But right now um, there hasn't been many, uh, like I've said no to a lot of pub gigs and um, I don't think I actually have any pub gigs booked anymore. We're done. I think we're completely done. Uh, so that's a, a huge, um, that was a huge goal that I had set um, earlier on in the year. I love playing pub gigs um, and all the venues. I just love playing there. There's a lot of fun hanging out with people. That's where a lot of people met me on stream. They used to see me playing at the commie. Um, but I was finding that when I was doing you know, four or five live streams and then I was coming in and trying to record content and then I was doing gigs uh, and then trying to talk to humans. <laughs> like just, just the act of talking, so much fatigue, so much, so hard on my voice that I was like, well, if I tried to do this, I might damage something. So um, it was definitely a big, big objective was to solve that problem right away. So I'm quite, I'm quite glad that we're, we're getting there. Um, the looping is getting so much better, but yeah, the just being able to achieve that um, that little bucket, like it's we're we're getting down the list of go, becoming a full time creator. So it's it's quite I don't know, it's quite surreal. And then on the back end, the all the content that we've been working on and and just trying to get better at the craft, better at engaging with people, better at performing, better at entertaining. Um, We've gotten, I've gotten more bookings through my private because I mainly do this. All I do is like private bookings, like rodeos, uh, weddings, um, corporate functions, things like that, balls, stuff like that uh, has just been going crazy. Like people are like, yeah, no, we think you're worth it. And I'm like, cool, let's go. And um, transitioning to that level of musician, which I didn't think would happen so quick, um, has been pretty cool. So 
now I'm on the next level of that of like, okay, cool. We've, we've, we've accumulated these set of skills. Let's like, what's the next step? So we've brought in Casey, my sister-in-law. She's amazing. Um, especially on socials. So she's going to be jumping on and taking over pretty much all the sneaky beast stuff for me, which is a huge, um, weight lifted. Um, and it's been amazing. She's already did her first reel, which is fantastic. She's going to do another one. So like starting to hire out people to take the workload off of me so I can start just focusing on the things that matter, which is, um, for me is like YouTube, uh, getting the stream cranking, getting that school content ready and like just trying to deliver huge amounts of value to our coaching students. So, um, like that is pretty much like those four things are like gold. Like I have to be like, my attention has to be focused on that stuff. So the more times that I can offload like admin jobs that, uh, take up time, uh, that someone else can do has been just actually the most crazy. Do you want to know what the craziest thing I heard Alex Hormozzi say this, and I haven't gotten to the point yet to, to pull this off fully, but he said the highest leverage thing, like him and Sam, Sam Ovens also say it, the highest leverage thing you can do if you're any person who runs a business um, from zero to a million a year, the one you can only ever do it once in your life uh, and in your business to get this level of arbitrage is outsourcing cleaning in your home, outsourcing any form of maintenance on your home and outsourcing cooking and laundry. And if you can outsource all of those things, I think um, there's a video and he goes through the average American. It's like 1500 a month. So, and then the hours are something like 96 hours a month. People on average spend on their cooking and their cleaning of the house. And he's like, if you spend 96 hours on your business um, and you get that back, that's like the craziest arbitrage ever. So I think what, one thing we got was cause I have a bulging disc. We tested it out. We found like this, this guy who does lawn maintenance in our in our town in our area and my god we've hired him for like every two weeks or so and he comes in and he absolutely slays he cleans up all the yard does all the mowing oh my god um flat out the fact that i can do these streams now and have no pain in my neck i just i love that guy he uh tim you're a legend if you ever watch this i don't think you'll ever watch it but He's a straight up uh, in my phone, Tim Garden Legend. That's his. That is his contact name. So that one was crazy. And then I think we have a cleaner that has started to come uh, once every two weeks or so, and she has been amazing. Like I have, I haven't had because Sarah's third trimester. Like it's so hard to help her out. Um, and then work full time and then do all of the like toddler things. It's like crazy. Um, so crazy level of like, I didn't realize it would be that big of an unlock, but it has been massive for my mindset. I'm like, I mean, it's so easy to like come back home and like know that I don't need to be doing like planning some time to do a bunch of yard work that would be like, would one screw up my neck. Um, and two, just like, you want to ever see an angry Luan? watch me in a yard trying to do yard work uh i've been known to throw a shovel like for sure i i hate yard work i hate it but um yeah that was a huge unlock and that was really really sick but yeah no coming into coming into this next era i'm kind of hoping the next four to six weeks i can just like all in and get a lot of school stuff done we were on a big roll uh, when it came to school and then uh, I did have a bit of a family problem um, which was not the funnest news so my dad he's currently going through chemo he's he's got um he's got early early ca cancer diagnosis but he has the chance to cure it so we're really really optimistic about it um, and that was why I was away and I missed a, like a like a week of streaming um, I want to spend time with him while he was going through his first week of chemo and so that one, that was uh, like one super shit um, Two, watching like all these people who are going through chemo and, and how they're battling. And I was like, oh my God, like 
I take for granted so many things. And then I've kind of come back into the things being like, all right, like let's sometimes I sit down and wonder like on, I know this is a bit like a bit like downy, but um, like you wonder about like the concept of like death and all those things. And you're like, man, I, I need to be executing on what I want to accomplish. Like imagine I got a random diagnosis and it happens a lot. Like we all know someone who's been in their thirties and something, like crazy shit like that has happened to them. And um, I'm like, man, what if that happened to me? Like what are the parts of my life that I'm compromising on today that I take for granted because I think I have time? And so that's been something that has been quite interesting. So my approach to learning, my approach to the business, my like I've, I've had like the sense of like, oh, we can take our time with it and then eventually we'll get there. But now there's a sense of urgency because I'm like, no, if I have an idea and I think it's good, I'm going to do it right now. Uh, I'm not going to hold back. I think it's been uh, huge, a catalyst for our school community um, because I, I took the time away and I sat down and thought like, what do I want the school community to be? And then I was like, I want it, I want the free community to be like the wild west of everyone sharing their progress and making mistakes and learning and hanging out with each other, supporting each other. I want that to be that. And then I want my coaching community to be like, let's get good. Uh, and I want it to be small and I want it to be like surgical and I want it to be like, I can just jump in and I can help people write their songs. Cause I was so inspired when I watched um, Dylan and, and Mina who are part of our, uh, you might've seen them in our live streams or in, in the comments and the YouTube stuff. Um, they're in the accelerated community. They're one of the first people that, that they were like the first people that jumped into to the accelerated community that we have, the coaching program. And they wrote a song together. Mina started writing some stuff and then Dylan jumped in and helped her out with lyrics. And it's like, oh my God, I had no idea that that could possibly happen. So my perspective or like the, the things that I thought were possible from this community, I was like, I've been so wrong. Like it's way bigger than that. Um, watching some people engage and now we're giving away free lessons every week um, for the top contributors, um, which are voted by you guys. Like if you like people's comments and give them uh, and their posts, it, they get points. So um, it's just been so crazy cool. So adversity and then like the fruit of adversity has been happening. It's been happening like all the time. And there's like these little wins that we get. And like I've been someone who has been so trained in my life to be like it needs to be the big win or it's nothing and like that's been something that I've been like kind of backtracking on and I'm like I'm learning to see the little wins but I'm also learning to just not even look at wins and just be like all right this here's the input let's see what the result is and if I and I don't have this expectation on a, on a result and that's been so cool because I'm like oh well if it happens it happens if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen it is what it is like just keep trying and you'll keep figuring it out. Like for a long time, I couldn't get people to engage in the free community. And I was like, oh, well, what if we run a competition every week? And then also we just like start having fun posts and we start making things a bit easier for people to communicate. And ever since we did that, like our community went from being ranked at like 6,000th on school, like one of the, like a really bad rank. And now we're like top, well, I think we're 2,300 ranked on school which i think that that's crazy that's jumping up like four thousand places um so the free community is crushing and i'm just like holy shit this is so fun and and it's been so fun too because um i try to think about like what made me want to play world of warcraft all the time because i always sit down and think like um it's not about how like I, we had simon talking about like work ethic and things like that and I'm like I struggle with work ethic and practice and things but I'm like but when I used to play World of Warcraft that there was like a brand new thing to do and, and for anyone who plays video games they might understand this or just anything they have an obsession with um I could sit down for like 12 hours to 24 hours straight like and just like very little breaks and I could just do a task and I was so focused on the task and I and I'm like how does that translate? Like, what are the things that are like, um, 
driving these driving forces where like my brain can handle that, but it can't handle practicing or writing or working on a business or things like that. And so I've been starting to find the parallels of like, oh, this is where you can like take that and put it there, take that and put it there. And one big thing for me is accountability and community. So accountability, which has been kind of solved with the stream, like even when I'm not feeling it, like today, you know, I'm in the studio. The fact I'm recording this video that we had the conversation with Dylan at the start, he's like, hey, we haven't seen a video of like this for a while. You know, I jumped in, I just, I just did like, I did two big shows on the weekend, Friday, and we did about like, it was like 16 plus hours of driving. It was like, yeah, so much driving, so much driving and setting up and moving gear and doing like, there was a lot of logistical drag that happened on the weekend and then came home and then straight into the throes of like, try to get things done, get things organized and then boom. So I was ready to come to the stream on Monday. And, you know, the the accountability that the stream has created for me has been like, you don't have an excuse. This is a hard time. You just got to work harder. Let's get better. So my bandwidth for working hard has gone a lot easier, which is kind of crazy. I was like, I think in one of the previous videos, my goal was like, I need to try and build a, a bigger bandwidth for work. And um, I think I'm starting to, to see the fruits of that that effort starting to pay off because I'm like I can go longer for something being more more painful and doing things that I don't want to do and then like I get over that like I literally go to the stream and I'm like oh, like everyone will understand if I take the day off and then I turn on this like actually today was even cooler like today was I went to turn on the stream and I was like two minutes before and I like opened up the chat and I see it literally said two people waiting. There was two people waiting for me to start streaming. They're not even like waiting for me to go live to then check. They're like literally wait in the waiting room because YouTube has like a waiting room. And I was like, man, that is cool. So shout out to Caleb and Riley, who I like immediately was like, who's here? And they're like, oh my God, it's me. And I was like, oh, wait. So like that stuff's cool. So there's so many things that I just was not expecting everything to evolve to so quickly. Um, and I, and I am like, Hey, it could like stop growing like that, but, and, and then we'll have like a lull period, but, um, I'm just very, very excited for like where the future of this is all going to go. So, um, I'm loving the bat, like the work ethics getting better, but the first thing that accountability, like that has been huge in like helping me work harder, practice harder, get better, post the content more consistently, um, work on all the systems, trying to get everything ready before our baby uh, baby boy arrives. But the, the one I was not expecting to capture the feeling of was community. So on World of Warcraft, you would have guilds uh, and, and within your guild, that was kind of like your status area. And like if you were in a really good guild, so you'd have like different ecosystems of status. And so like, you'd have like your character and then you would have like the close proximity of people around you that you regularly play with and your status within that group. And then you have your status within the guild, which is like the culmination of a lot of people could be like 50 to hundred people that are in the guild. And, um, and you will have your status within that community and different relationships. And then outside of that, depending on what guild you were in, um, cause it, the tag would be under your name. You would have now another level of community from people around on the server. So, and that could be thousands of people. And I personally was always like, always want to be one of the best players in the, in the guild and always want to be in one of the best guilds. And there was like this level of status that I think um, attracted me to that game and doing that thing. Now, the school community, the free community, and even the accelerated community the amount of like watching that, how like you don't like, I'm not looking to be like, Hey, I'm going to be the master, the puppet master of like how everything's going. I'm literally just like, let's go, let's have fun. How can I make this more fun for you? Do all these things. And then watching how the community's interacting, there's a level of respect because a lot of people um, do appreciate what I've done. 
And the, and I think that great, like me being grateful for them to be a part of community and them being grateful for having this community as an option has been like, I think that that feedback loop has been super rewarding for me so that like, you put in the effort and then you get this, you get like two, three, four times back. So I did not expect that um, on the community front. And then it's even been even better because it was like, uh, I, I was listening to a really, really clever person talking about community. I can't remember who it was, but they were like the number, oh, it was about masterminds. And they were like, the problem with ma- like a lot of masterminds is people like come in and then it's like, it's all about like what I'm going to tell you to do. Whereas the best masterminds were originally like round tables and it was like, hey, how can we all help each other? How are you guys figuring all these things out? And I've been trying to be very hands-off in the free community um, uh, so that like everyone can just be like, they have room for them to be them and they have room for them to share their experience. In the accelerator community, I'm a tyrant. Let's be real. Um, if you're part of the accelerator community, I jump in and I give the feedback, but the rule is only I give the feedback and everyone else um, hypes everyone up and then people usually learn how to self-critique. But in the free community... I find I see that as like I just want to have like this bubble where people can share their experience, share their progress in a really safe and fun way. And Dylan had the best analogy. It's like it's like learning how to gig with like full armor protection. Like you're ready, like a bodysuit. You're like, all right, like you know, I'm I can like start putting myself out there and not be hurt, you know, or know that. Like it'll be a community of people that are going to be looking for the best in what I'm doing, not in like trying to shit on my progress, which is what you see on the internet. You see on the internet, like, man, you do a post of you making like a mistake, people people will instantly be on that. And that's a bit of the internet. It's a bit of a sad thing. But this community is like the opposite of that. So we are like breaking the internet. I love it. So I I found that this this aspect of community has been so amazing and it was something that I didn't realize that I missed so much and it's probably one of the things that I really really was interested in the game I mean I'm talking about the game now but outside of it like in the past week and I, I'll be real like I love like if there was anything that I loved outside like as a thing to do outside of music and things like that I love video games and that game especially it was just like I just got so good at it I love playing it but I found this was like the first time I never checked on it. I never looked at what's happening on the game. And I never like, I, all I was doing was like refreshing the feed on the school community being like, has anyone posted? Has anyone commented on anyone's thing? Is there something I can like? I'm like, what the fuck, Luan? What is going on? So yeah, it's been pretty cool. Um, I'm very excited to see where this evolves. So pretty much where we're at right now, you know, it's June. Uh, we're at the end of June. So going into July, I'm, uh, I'm locked in on how I want the coaching community to be. So we're going to raise the price on that. That's going to be cranking. Um, it's going to be the first price increase. Uh, there will be a lot more. I'm looking to make that probably sit around like comfortably around 250, 300 a month would be a really, um, I would like to be delivering that kind of value. Um, especially in the online community. I think it's, a hundred percent worth it. Um, especially once we get to a certain level, but I'm still learning as a creator. I'm still learning as a, as a coach. So right now, while everyone's watching me learn and being a part of it and experimenting, that's why we have the lower price. So that's kind of cool, but eventually I'm going to aim to hit there. I'm just, uh, whatever it takes, I'm going to fucking do. And it's going to be so cool. So yeah, that's really, really exciting for me. Um, but yeah, so that that's been completely like we've really fleshed out the system. So um, that accelerated community is going to do well, and then the free community. I think we've established a great cadence with this one free lesson a week, um, where people can be rewarded for being a part of a community for liking people's stuff. Um, it's very very fun, and then also like you can only claim one lesson a month, which is cool. So that if you win twice in a row, you can give it to someone else. I thought that was a pretty cool thing that we came up with. But yeah, I'm I'm quite excited. There's a lot of there's a lot of optimism here. Whereas a couple of months ago, um, especially when you go into something new, 
you kind of go into like this like pit of despair of like, oh my God, is this going to work? Is anything going to happen? I have all these ideas and I keep saying this shit and nothing's working and like nothing is generating revenue. How can I like pay for my family? I can, and I'm like, at this point, like things are working. And I'm like, it may be a small scale, but, and then it'll be so fun in like two, three, four years to come back and look at this video or for anyone who has ambitions on building their own brand and building their own online business. You guys can literally see what I was doing. Um, no matter what the scale is like, my goal is like, I want the stream to have a thousand people in it. And I want the, um, I want the stream to have a thousand people. I want the, the accelerated community to be generating a great amount of revenue. If like all boats rise in the tide and I have like enough revenue stream happening, we will hire some of the best. Like I want to get some of the best editors in here to help edit the content. Like I said, take things off my plate, put people in positions that are way better than me at things and they will help grow the community and deliver better experiences for you guys. Help, um, you know, we can buy better equipment, get better microphones, get better audio interfaces, start doing better work with the production, maybe hire a mixing engineer that can be like in-house and help do all the audio so that all I'm focused on is performing, writing, and engaging with you guys. So it's just the possibilities are there. Before it was a bit of like, oh, the one's got a pipe dream. But now I'm like seeing literally what 0.01% looks like. And I'm like, well, if there's 0.01%, then we can get it to 0.02% and then eventually to 1% and then eventually to 10% and then eventually to 50% of this dream that I have. So I'm like pretty psyched. Um, it's a small growth, but you know, a lot of people spend decades not moving and I'm so glad that I'm not doing that. I'm just glad that I can be an example to others of like, hey, try. If you try, some things might work and some things might not work. But it's about like, <laughs> it's the, it's the, it's not about how many times you get knocked down. It's about how many times you get back up, yo. <laughs> no, it's like, but it's, I know it's a cliche thing, but it is fucking, it's true, right? Like you you can't figure it out, so figure it out. Like you're struggling, it's like, it's not working, all right, pivot. It's not working, figure it out. Go find the information. So I am, um, oh, big hype. Nolan Malt, um, a uh, huge fan of his content, um, especially he was part of the Think Media team. I don't know what the drama is behind that of him being fired or whatever, but either way, he started a program called Content Academy and I got accepted into it, so... Um, I paid for it. I paid for the the first down payment on it. So I'm very, very hyped. I think in July 1st or 2nd is when I start that 16-week program. So you can expect the YouTube content and like what we're doing in the studio, the lighting, all that stuff. He's going to be jumping in on my content and helping me figure out and make it really, really good. So it's going to be amazing to have uh, one of the most like YouTube amazing minds jumping in and completely like, roasting our shit and it's going to be fucking great um so if you guys see a big bump in our in our growth um you will be that's exactly what's happening so when i say upskill by experience this is what i mean like it is it is expensive for me to jump in on this um but i'm like i'm pretty sure that if i apply myself in that community and i work really really hard and I take all the lessons that he gives me and, and on how to do thumbnails, how to do YouTube titles, how to do descriptions, how to do like planning. So like you have like content for organic and you have content that's going to like more viral and like different, all those different tricks that he has on YouTube, I think will greatly serve our community and then generate more revenue. And then it will allow us to buy better shit so that we can do cooler stuff. Um, so I'm very, very excited for it. It's going to be wicked. Um, but that's what I encourage all of you to do. That's, I mean, like the whole premise of my coaching program is like literally buy my experience and you will save so much time. Uh, and that's the same thing that I'm doing. You know, I did the same thing with Mads when I got into production, I spent a, a bunch of money getting him to teach me audio production and it completely leveled up the stream. Uh, and then I'm really hoping that hanging out with Nolan and his crew is going to do the exact same thing for me now. And it's going to be very, very hype. Um, He's absolutely been slaying it on his front. Anyway, 
I thought it was only going to be a 10, 15 minute video, but it went for like 30 minutes and my voice is very tired. So I am going to hop off and um, do some editing and uh, yeah, hopefully I um, feel better for tomorrow and I can be more energetic and we can crush tomorrow's stream. But thank you guys so much. Um, and really for everyone who's been new to the community, you're like, it's so great to have you here. And for everyone who has already been in our community, especially people who have been in there from since last year when I started doing this and you guys have seen every iteration of me trying to figure this out. Um, thank you for putting up with me and uh, watching me experiment with it all. Um, I think it's really exciting for all of you to see where I'm going with it. Um, and I think it motivates it motivates me to keep working really hard because I'm so grateful of all the effort you guys have put into me. Some of you have put an effort with your time. Some of you put an effort with your money. Some have put like effort in sharing and like building this community and hang out with community. Like you don't know, it doesn't go unnoticed. I watch it um, and I, I carry the burden of guilt of like, hey, I know you guys are rooting for me and I'm not going to let you down. So we're going to keep working. We're going to keep leveling up. Um, just know that like I'm getting even better at like when I feel like shit, I'm getting better at just like cranking through the work. So there's going to come like a break point where I'm going to be like, I don't care. Like my, my mental state has zero effect on my productivity. And I rec when I hit that point, oh, we're going to smash that. It's going to be like, writing songs, learning songs, editing, like, oh, it's going to be, I'm, I'm so, so hyped for that moment to hum, come. Like it's going to be oh, huge. Uh, probably will happen. I reckon depending like on the cadence of how I've been like building up and, and the compoundingness of like my, my work ethic, I reckon by next year, um, we will, I will be quite, um, I will hit a really great level of like, um, discipline and productivity and, and effectiveness in my work, which I'm very excited for. So anyway, Luan's out. Um, if you've been listening till for 30, to, I, keep, I keep looking here to just keep track that I didn't run out of memory on the video. <laughs> this has been a problem. I keep running out of memory on my computer. Um, but yeah, uh, drop a comment and be like, hey, let me know in the comments of when you first met me. I think that would be pretty sick. If you guys can let me know in the comments, when did you first meet me online would be super sick as like a call to action for anyone who watched the whole thing. And if you did, I love you. And if you didn't, um, just know I love you as well. All right, see you guys soon. Let's go.